I'm Frances Meeks. It's Miss Ridley in the Media Center. So I thought I would um, send this out to you. It's a build a jack o' lantern with Google Slides activity. It'd be really fun for a center for your class. So if you go to this website, which I will also send you the link when I send this video, you would want to scroll down and go to build a jack o' lantern template, the Google Slides link. When you click on that, you'll click make a copy slides. There it is. Now remember, you can assign this to your Google Classroom and you can do it as a template so everybody in your class can make their own or you can also use this as a center, like I said. So it's pretty fun. So the students would go down and you have the directions here of how you can use that. It allows them to write a story about their jack-o'-lantern and then they can make a fun face with all these different pieces and parts of a jack-o'-lantern. So how cool is that? Now, I also had the request to talk about how you can take a screenshot of a Google document and then write on it. So this is a little review. So if you want to do something like that, remember you have your buttons here off to the side that are hovering from the view line board. So the very top one is going to be the button you're going to want to press. When you do that, it brings up your tool board down here. Now, this is something I wrote a little while ago. So I'm going to clear that off. I can hit the eraser with the screen and clear that. If I wanted to write something new on here and take a screenshot, I could easily do that. To take a screenshot, it's this button. It looks like a dotted page with a camera in the corner. When I do that, it gives me some different options. I can take a screenshot using the corners that are here. I can extend those corners because you may not want to take a screenshot of the whole page. It might just be a portion of the page that you want to take a picture of. So if I want to take a picture of just a portion of this slide, I could get my frame the way I want it, and then I could press the button, and that's going to take the screenshot. So it puts it right into my whiteboard. Now, I also have my writing tools. I can go in and pick up my pencil, decide what color I want to write with, and now I can write on my slide. Okay? If I want to save this, I can do that also. I can go ahead and save this over here. It would take me back to my screen. Here with the dots, this is where I decide where I want to save this. So I can go ahead and click Add an Image, and it'll save this picture on my board. So if I do that, it just took a picture of it, and there it is. That's where it's saved. So if you want to see where that is, you can click on Home. It does not save on the computer when you do this. It actually is saving on the board itself. So there's my viewfinder. And I can go into my pictures, and that's where it saved it. Remember, I could save it to a thumb drive if I wanted to put a thumb drive with it. But that's basically how you can take a screenshot, write on that screenshot, and save it as an image onto your board. I'll be happy to show you one-on-one -on -one if you want to stop by the Media Center, or we can set up a time and I can come to you. Have a great day.